All right, everybody. Socks by the numbers. Welcome back. It's after hours here, about 4:30. We had a company here that someone mentioned. Actually, a couple of people mentioned in the Discord. Shout out to all of them. They know who they are. And the name of the company is Hims and Hers Health Incorporated. Ticker symbol H I M S. Listed here on the New York Stock Exchange. The company had a very nice day leading up into these earnings. As you see, closed at about 10 and a quarter, up almost three quarters of a point about 7.7% here on the day, and we're having a very nice pop here after hours. Stock hitting almost $12 here, up $1.64, 16% here currently. And also we have our long, high-flying pole, and we have what could potentially be viewed as our flag. So we have our potential bull flag lining up, meaning that the stock could potentially go even higher. And if we look at these numbers here, very impressive. As you see here, estimates looking for a loss of about two cents, a little over two cents. And you can see the company actually comes in net income positive and post plus one cent beating very nicely on the EPS side. Revenue coming in just above what analysts were expecting with those estimates bumping up here to almost $246.5 million, and the company posts $246.619 million. So right there in the numbers, it sounds like a very, very good situation in my opinion. As you see, Hims and Her Health, four quarter swings to profit, issues upbeat 2024 outlook as well. Mm, okay, hold on one sec. Here we go. Loss of, uh, there you go. Income 1.3 million or one cent a share from a loss of 10.7 million or five cents a share a year earlier. That is a massive climb year over year. And even if you look at the revenue, it's basically just consistently climbing. The company's doing a lot of advertising, a lot of people in the Discord saying they're consistently seeing the ads. And uh, apparently, you know, the stuff works and, and people like it because the orders seem to be consistently piling in, again, as the revenue basically keeps climbing. Subscribers for the quarter surged 48% to 1.5 million. In 2024, quote, we expect to eclipse $1 billion in revenue and deliver our first full year of net income profitability. That, in my opinion, is going to propel the stock even more than them coming out and just beating earnings here today. Hims and her forecast revenue between $267 million to $272 million in the first quarter, as well as revenue between $1.17 billion and $1.2 billion expected 253 wow so they're wow so that's that's coming in high above that estimate there i mean we're you know we're talking 15 almost 20 million above this 253 mark that analysts were initially expecting and 1.11 billion for the respective periods they're estimating 1.17 to 1.2 billion so if everything goes according to plan this company in my opinion will probably consistently keep beating earnings quarter over quarter and of course for the whole year of 2024 it's probably according to them going to look significantly better than what we saw here in 2023 and if we come down here we can see market cap we'll call it 2.2 billion uh company slightly losing but of course just went net income positive we have a beta of almost two again the beta the volatility of the stock in relation to the overall volatility of the market as we see uh, okay two of four for the last quarters but they came in with a nice beat and again annually look at this we can see basically coming from that lockdown period there in 2020 sub 150 million jumping up 270 million basically almost doubling that up to almost 527 million and now if we look throughout 2023 look at this just steady consistent growth it looks you can see the net margin percentage slightly going more towards positivity and then boom as you see today again they brought in whatever they said 1.3 million and uh, we can see just look at the growth quarter over quarter here sub 145 million 167 190 207 226 and now they posted 246 and now uh moving forward uh what they say 260 to 270 or something so we're seeing this consistent growth and that in my opinion is what i feel basically makes a winner you want to follow the consistent growth of course you have a big catalyst now with the company swinging to to q4 positive but also it's it's looking at the current valuation of the company as well right so we have 2.2 billion right now with the market cap and now if we look at the quarters here again the company just uh brought in 246 so if we add this up now we're at what like about 670 million <clears throat> 
and then with this is 870 <clears throat> right just a, just around a billion almost and uh they're forecasting for 2024 uh, 1.17 to 1.2 billion. So again, they're expecting even further growth from here. So looking at about a billion dollars right now for closing out the year in 23 and forecasting slightly above a billion in annual revenue for 24 with the company currently having a market cap of only 2x that here at a little over 2 billion. In my opinion, I think this is a $20 stock. That's just me. That's just my opinion, of course. Not financial advice, just how I feel about it, looking at some of these numbers here. The debt seems very low also, just a couple of million. But uh, even if, that's what I mean, even if we double this up here from 10 and a quarter and you go to 20 and change, that would bring the market cap to over 4 billion. And again, the company just rounded off the year doing about a billion with good growth, quarter over quarter, year over year. So to bring them up to around 4 billion when they did a billion in revenue, you know, again, that would be about, you know, 4x market cap. That's not too crazy, right? That That's not too crazy. That's actually considered a conservative multiple in, in a lot of spaces to a lot of people. Of course, it depends on the company. But again, the company is growing nicely, forecasting bigger and better things, and just went net income positive. And again, look at the debt here. Over the years, only holding about 5 million there, 21, 22. We can see the uh, cash, the blue bar here you can see was kind of bouncing around here got to slightly sub 50 million jumps up to 65 million holding 58 million but you can also see the free cash flow as well the green bar in the center look at that was up here at uh, plus four million drops down to minus nine and a third million then up to almost seven almost ten over 19 million now in free cash flow and you can see the debt look at the debt now 4.68 million right has actually been stepping down from middle of 22 over these last couple of quarters debt they're only holding 4.68 million in debt you know when we're talking about a multi-billion dollar company here so that's why in my opinion this is all a drop in the bucket i'd say right now the biggest red flag would be the book value uh as we see here for the most part it seems like assets are climbing uh, liabilities chunked up as well in the previous quarter. However, the uh, assets minus liabilities yields equity. And we can see the equity is kind of maintaining this 320 million mark for the most part and has ticked higher even as of last quarter. But also, again, the book value right here sitting at about $1.55. And they have been maintaining basically that $1.50 plus mark. So that would probably be the only argument if someone says, yeah, you know, it looks good, but it's trading, you know, seven, eight times book value. I can understand if you make that argument to try to justify a pullback. But again, it wouldn't really be a pullback or a sell off. It would be more of probably a drop down into the, into one of those little downward consolidated channels that we've seen. And then boom, you're going to have that pop up and that break out. But again, that's just my opinion. We don't know what's going to happen. But as you see here, again, as of last quarter, because I'm sure this hasn't updated, but uh, as of last quarter, we can see, you know, trading at about two and a half times sales right now, uh, 44.67 times cash flow. Okay, not the lowest it's been, but, you know, was trading significantly at, at a higher multiple there. And again, right now, price to book as of close trading at about six times book. And now it's obviously going to be even higher. But uh in my in my opinion uh, again i i understand that the price to book ratio shouldn't get too high and too out of control however it it goes back to the growth of the business in my opinion it goes back to the consistency as well that's one of the key things that i always mention is the consistency and again looking at the company quarter over quarter year over year we are seeing consistent growth so to consistently pump up this stock's price target to consistently have them climb up and, and hit new highs and keep growing over time. You know, that that really, in my eyes, should be the recipe for success when it comes to the stock market. These stocks shouldn't just pop and drop because, you know, they're trending or, you know, it's on Reddit or something. But, you know, it's just my opinion. I know the market's changing every day and we all try to uh, try to get an edge on it. 
Return on assets, as you see, was well over minus 20%, now getting to minus single digits here, less than minus 9% as of last quarter. Return on equity, same thing, well over minus 20%, all the way down here now to minus 11%. Invested capital, almost minus 27%, and has been consistently increasing quarter over quarter, as of last sitting at only minus 11%. The gross margin percentage, consistently increasing look at this 72 75 77 high 77 79 80 81 and a half as of last quarter very very impressive i i cannot lie men lie women lie numbers do not lie operating margin basically consistently increasing again going from minus 17 almost minus 18 minus 12 minus 8 minus 6 minus 4 less than minus 3 EBITDA, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, amortization, was minus 16%, consistently climbing here, all the way up to less than minus 2% as of last quarter. And the net margin percentage, which we saw just went positive, has basically been climbing every quarter, quarter over quarter, consistently, along with the rest of the margins as well. So, in my eyes, the company looking very, very solid here. Um, the one potential red flag we could say is the inventory does not, the inventory turnover, excuse me, doesn't seem to be uh, consistently bouncing around, uh, doesn't seem to be consistent and seems to be bouncing around, excuse me. But for the most part, I mean, holding steady, right? And again, we can't necessarily look at something like the inventory turnover right now even though I have mentioned it before with other stocks, because also remember some of the numbers that they reported, right? Subscribers are up to 1.5 million. They're up 48%. Uh, again, revenue consistently keeps increasing quarter over quarter, year over year. So the inventory is getting turned over, right? Popularity is growing. So, you know, just, just wanted to speak on it because i know we i i try to look at it for a lot of the stocks we look at so I, you know i'm not trying to like gloss over anything that might not look good to make it sound like this is better you, you understand what i'm saying but the asset turnover as well again basically how much money they're generating from their assets right you can see that this number has been consistently climbing quarter over quarter now almost eight quarters in a row so in my opinion basically across the board i i like this uh hims and hers health here h-i-m-s and um again i was uh watching a bunch of things i was uh responding to a bunch of comments on youtube and i recently got on twitter so i was trying to like post some updates on twitter throughout the day and a couple of people mentioned hymns in the discord talking about earnings and my apologies because i should have done a video before market close and i probably would have said that this is undervalued and i probably would have said in my opinion that i would have went long on it and with calls or shares and obviously I would have looked like a rock star yet again, but, you know, can't be perfect. But we can see here again, the EPS estimates really over time have been bouncing around. However, we're expected to just kind of continue the stability and this continued growth here, forecasting, again, um, slight negatives here moving forward. However, the company did beef up some positive forecasts on their 2024 outlook. So even though these are showing negative EPS numbers here, we don't know because the company might be able to sustain EPS positivity now moving forward. So they sounded pretty pumped about it. So we'll see what the next couple of quarters look like. But just look at this on the revenue side. Absolutely phenomenal. The growth that this company is seeing quarter over quarter is nothing short of spectacular. And we can see now estimates continuing to grow here quarter over quarter. And... Uh, year over year look at this so 2023 yeah 870 a little under 872 million we did some arithmetic before we should be above that 2024 1.11 again the company said 1.17 to 1.2 so we have a good chance to come in and have a better 2024 and we can see for 25 1.35 billion 26 1.63 billion so if everything stays according to plan, it looks like we have a grower here. And that's why uh, I'm saying, in my opinion, again, just my opinion, I feel that looking at a lot of the growth here in these numbers and how consistently they're growing, and of course, just looking at the market cap here, just a touch over $2 billion, I I'd say, in my opinion, I, I personally see this going to around $20, if not more 
depending on what the company posts uh, in the next couple of quarters, depending on who upgrades them, what financial institutions increase their positions in them, what analysts come out and up their price targets or their ratings, right? So only time will tell. But overall, in the numbers, I personally like hymns. Again, I think it's going to 20 plus dollars and uh, they're posting the numbers to back it up. So if you guys are out there, if you jumped in hymns here today playing these earnings, or if you've just been in, in a while seeing that it's a good grower and you're holding for the long term, listen, great call. Congratulations. Shout out to all you guys. And uh, definitely a nice winner here, HIMS, hymns on the New York Stock Exchange. And I'll end it there. Once again, to Stocks by the Numbers, uh, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop it down in the comments section. I'm usually very quick to reply. Thumbs up algorithm helps me get more eyes on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel. That is our handshake agreement. That is how you help me help you. But more importantly, moving forward, like I always say, I understand that markets are rocky and volatile and very uncertain. So I want to wish all of you success. I hope everyone makes a couple of dollars. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day.